Howdy folks. Let's uh oh hello. I haven't got the webcam on. One All right, we should be back. Okay, cool. Hey guys, All right? Um, I've got a new deck. I'm quite excited to have a little play with. Uh, so uh, let me just get to my TTS here. Let's see if we can get into a game. And I'm also waiting for this game to get started. Uh, I'll talk you through what it is. So it's um, it's a Jin Akbar deck. But I think it's it's looking slightly different to a lot of the other ones that I've uh, seen being played. Um, the big thing I think that's uh, different about it is, well I've called it um, Cunning Conning. Um, and that's because it's running Con Artist and uh, Cunning. And of course they do work together. So if you get um, Cunning and Con Artist out, you can mill really fast. Now the reason I wanted to build it through Gin is... Gin with um, second chance and ammo belt is broken, and unless you make a mistake, especially with all the recursion that this deck is going to run, which is rebel, cheat, um, starship graveyard. Um, we've even got an ascension gun in there to be able to use our starship graveyard. We've got loads of recursion for these upgrades. So second chance uh, ammo belt might not even need the ammo belt with all that recursion in. Uh, is is just ridiculous. So I, I've, I figured, what if I can make a deck where I just know Jin isn't going to die? Can I make a deck that wins games in 35 minutes quickly and regularly enough for me to use it as a tournament deck? Because it's all very well building a deck that never dies, but if it never dies in 50 minutes, well, that's no good, you know, and you're, you're still losing because they've done more damage to you. Uh, and this deck... I think, and you are literally going to see the first outing of me trying to do this sort of build, has got an amazing amount of synergy in it. I'm a little bit astonished, and this is all theory crafting at this stage, at how much um, uh, uh, synergy there is going on with all of these cards. Um, so big things that are in so is the Cunning Con Artist. Uh, we've also got a data pad in there, which of course is helping. There's a lot based around specials. Um, uh, we've got Lone Operative, and actually Lone Operative uh, data pad on Akbar to keep Akbar alive. Lone Operative is really good for that. Uh, the second chance Ammo Belt is clearly going to keep our gin alive for the uh, for the duration of the game. Three PO is there for when she rolls her one or two. Um, her sorry when she rolls her damage sides that we'll just be able to turn that straight into resources with 3PO because the deck does look like it could be quite resource heavy. Now, one of the cards that I could put in, and I haven't at the moment, is Double Dealing. That's the new support that you can tap and gain um, one resource when you roll a special. There's a lot of specials in this. But another part of the deck that I've got in, because I want to, if I don't see Con Artist, I don't want to be spending ages trying to win this game. I've also got Spy Net in. Um, and there's quite a lot of focus in the deck too. Um, so we've got focus on Akbar. We've got uh, we are running a Falcon. There is focus on that, of course. But we've got Scout. That's got focus. Um, we've got Ascension Gun. That's got focus. Uh, I believe I'm done this build. This first build's got Comlink. I've got two sides of focus on it. Three uh, PO has got focus on it on it on him. Um, so. I've got quite a few dice that come into the game with focus on and you know if we can get one or two spy nets out all that can really help as well. Anyway, it doesn't seem to be getting any games right now so let's just jump out of this and see if we can actually uh, go and get one. It's the only problem with playing at a lunchtime in the UK you can often end up with not very many people looking for a game but Normally it's from about lunchtime onwards that it starts getting busier. So let's see. Are there any games up? There's a couple. Oh, there we go. Let's try and play Jurassic Fart. Actually, oh no, that's further away. Here we go, US. <laughs> yeah, let's play Jurassic. 
if you've got a name like Jurassic Fast, he's got to be a fun chap, right? <laughs> Right, I'll just quick say hello and stuff and check it's okay for us to stream. Just double check how our stream's doing, looking live, looking healthy. Rock on. Okay, let's see what it says. Thanks. New build. Okay, let's. Oh my goodness, there we go. Basic TTS controls. Here we go. And classic for me, that's good. All right, let's do this. Not please. Okay, he gonna promote me. Oof, playing against Palpatine. I gotta make sure I can stay alive. So, whilst I really do want to be able to see my. Uh, Loan operative early on, uh, not, not my loan operative. Actually, that wouldn't be bad. But um, what I really do want to see is uh, a second chance early on. Um, and against him, uh, I really oh, a salvage yard over it. <laughs> it's not salvage yard. Two of those. We're a little bit slow, but he is in the US, so uh, I suppose we'll give the server a break for that. Here we go. Then let's have a look here. So let's get ourselves. Uh, what do we see here? Okay. Well, not really interested in any of those to start out with. The data pad and the scout could be okay, but I think I'd rather just keep the one and not the other. So. What would I rather keep at this stage? I think, I think I'd rather keep the scout early on and get rid of the really nasty stuff out of his hand. So we'll go for a mully for four. And let's see what we get to. Okay. Okay, could be better. We haven't seen any of the really cool pieces, but negotiate is going to be brutal to him. Negotiate early on is just going to be amazing against him. So, what's your old five to my five? Great, here we go then. Oh dear, that's going to be his. He's probably going to pick his. That's fine, we've got Ascension going. Uh, let's see what he does. Yeah, go on, pick mine, pick mine. Pick mine. <laughs> yeah. Excellent, and we get to go first. So that's basically going to wipe out his first turn because the first thing I'm going to do is roll this out. Don't mind getting rid of Akbar's dice. Oh, I really don't mind getting rid of Akbar's dice now. You're going to roll those two out, and we negotiate away. Oof, it's just painful. So super good. Oosh. Sorry, bud. False illusion, yes. Oh, let's get him to try and use a false illusion. That would be brilliant. Um, now, the question is, do I stick a scout out or do I stick a spy net? I'm not going to get anything out of spy net. Let's stick a scout out. Okay, I am of course going to be overwriting that fairly quickly at some point. What have we rolled there? Well, we've rolled the scout, so that's good. Got a discard. She's so probably going to use whatever it is. Okay, ah, deflect. Okay, that's a bit of a shame, but okay. Uh, Alright, we'll hit this. Have a look, uh, and let's discard the cheapest card. Let's get rid of. Hmm. Uh, I think we'll get rid of that. 
because he's going to have the battlefield a lot. Question now is do I go for a reroll here? What am I going to get out of it? The thing is, I, I wouldn't mind the resource and I wouldn't mind that two discard side. But what am I going to discard to get it? Two things I really quite like. So I'll just discard him one card. I don't mind him not taking damage. I'm not here to, to do damage to him, I'm here to just mill him. So I'd rather keep the mill, that's fine. I'm going to keep that negotiate for sure. I'll keep the ascension gun for now. No, because no, actually no, I can get the, I can get these things back. What I actually would rather see is something that's gonna get me um Get me closer to being able to keep her alive, second chances and all the rest. So we'll draw three. Okay, we've got three PO as well, very nice. Okay, so he's gonna get to well, hopefully not resolve two of these. That would be awful. Okay, he's gonna get the discard off there, that's potentially bad. Throw in hackers. Okay, so he's going to do two, oops, get rid of that, and then we'll put two on track bar as well. Uh, so I'm a bit reluctant to negotiate now, but that two discard is going to be pretty nasty. Let's do it. Because again, it basically is nothing to do this turn. And he has got those two resources. So now the question is, do I data pad? I think I 3PO at this stage. Because 3PO is just so good. And he just allows me to do so many things. Um, because he turns those two damages into... Uh, oh, actually... Yeah, we'll do. Oh, do you know what? I'm paying for negotiates. Negotiates are free. Shouldn't have paid for that first one. Oh, could have got ascension gun out. That's annoying. Baff. The thing of playing with new characters. Oh, I don't have another deflect. Don't have another deflect. No, he hasn't, otherwise he's gone straight to it. Another feel your anger. Thankfully we got rid of that last turn. Yeah, bums. Okay. Oh well. Uh, yeah, let's hit this then. What can we get with the cheapest card? Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, yeah. But he's got a rise again and two big old upgrades. But he hasn't seen a Sith Holocron yet, thankfully. Um, I'll pay one for the okay so let's get 3PO out uh, to one um, I think I will Got three cards in hand. I could discard the data pad. I feel like I could, or do I get data pad out? The data pad getting it out would be quite nice. No, I could get quite a bit. I can get two fairly reliably off this. So come on! Damn it! <laughs> Oh, that is frustrating. Now, this is ballsy. I could play that, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to discard. Ugh. Well, that's a bit painful. I mean, that's a that's an unfortunate role, I have to say. Um, but I chanced it. You know, I knew I was chancing it, and I probably shouldn't have done. So... 
Okay, so he's got the four speed out now. That's fine. Um, right, we haven't got any removal here, so I might have to start thinking about overwriting Scout with the second chance. So let's get Jin in early. Because I, I don't think I can risk getting the con artist out yet until second chance is in place. I mean, you could say that's that's wrong. It may well be at this stage. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah, no focus. <laughs> it's right in. Okay. So we haven't got any way to remove. So we're going to take some damage here. We could take quite a bit of damage, so let's. I think play it safe, and we'll upgrade and get the second chance on now. It's just the safest thing to do. Because the one thing I've learned in this is just keep Jin alive. If Jin's alive, you've got a chance. Here we go. So we've got two actions: you discard, re-roll. Gonna discard that. We roll that one. Oh, it's another two. It's gonna be six damage. So we're gonna go one to there, and then two, and I'll put one on here, and one on here, and then another two. Uh, three, four, five, six. Actually, do you know what? Let's not do that. can put her to nine and just hope I can play out an ammo belt this round. Uh, I mean, I'm fairly confident we'll be able to get one more. Um, so do we discard now? Uh, I think let's roll in that bar, see what we get. Yes, okay, there's the one, so that's good. Okay, so he hasn't got anything else left now, that's good. So we'll roll in threeps. Oh, hello, spy net. He's going to claim, take the force throw back. Uh, so, he's got the two there. I think what I'll do is I'll make this. Should I go for reroll? So one of these I'm not going to need. Probably not. I should be keeping all those. And I'll take the two here. Set number. Uh, I'll just tell him two resources. Uh, I'll take this one. Get a resource. Um, Play one, play that out. Uh, and I think I'll do the discard. Okay, and then pay two. Play out the con artist. See if this is going to start coming together. Do I need to keep both of these, or do I need to get rid of that second chance for some removal? <sighs> I could stick Learn Operative onto him, so let's keep it. In fact, second chance isn't going anywhere, is it? <laughs> well, we'll see what happens here. Okay, we've got some Cunnings coming in as well, so that's nice now. All right, so he's got two Force Throws, yeah. He's getting pretty 
beefy over there is the issue now. I am going to be able to reversal. So I feel like let's just get Jin in. Okay, so we've rolled a special and a blank. Oh my goodness, he rolled a lot of specials. <laughs> ah, well, <laughs> it don't get a lot better than that, really. Um, I think I'm just going to have to bite the bullet from Akbar. Let's discard two. I think probably about the best thing to do. Just because I've got to get that, that dice off, otherwise it's coming back at me, so. So he's going to stick three into him. Three, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I'll put the that to a three and take that off. Now where is he going to choose to put this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, so um, so that will kill ammo belt. Uh, and she will go back to six. Uh, and then the two extra. Uh, seven, eight. Uh, see, now's the time oh, I could do with playing Rebel. <laughs> I mean, my second chance is in there, isn't it? resolve this did he just claim Okay, sorry guys, it mm, doesn't feel like I'm playing against someone who's, un unless there's, there's something I haven't spotted. Oh yeah, of course, he's just, I've got the force throw back, uh, the force lightning back. Okay, so if we want to discard, he's got two out there. See, with this two, I'm not quite sure. I need I need to get that belt back. That's probably why he claimed, isn't it? Uh, I think I might just play the belt back out again. So if I, I pay one, I play cheat. I'll get the belt back. Uh, oops. Uh, and I'll swap it for a cunning. Uh, and then we'll play it back out for that one. We'll roll in that bar. Yeah, nice. We get. Uh, should we do go for a re-roll? Quite like reversal. Cunning could get silly if I can get it in, but the lone operative would be epic too. Hmm. The lone operative could keep Akbar alive. I think he's probably just a goner, isn't he, Akbar? Let's do this and we'll re-roll these two. Um 
Well, that's cool because what we'll do is we will focus this to the no, 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 that. Discard those two. Take one. Uh, and I think we'll keep it there. It's got eight cards left. Looking, looking good, isn't it? Gain my two. I think I'm going to keep both of those. Take three. Oh, an electroshock and the rebel. Okay, he's got the resources. Right, I feel like something really cool I could do here now. Uh, I don't really want to reversal. Look, so he's uh, actually if I did the reversal, one round here, eight, nine, ten. Yep, yeah, that would work off that. So I could reversal for two. That's quite good fun. Really make him use up his cards for rerolls. So we'll reversal into him. I think that was right because now even if he resolves that, he's he's struggling. He's going to take two. Okay, sure. Well, that's fair enough. And then he'll do three. So which will discard the armor belt, and she'll heal back to six. But I think she's pretty much safe for this turn. And I feel I can just crack on, do whatever I like. I mean, I've got Rebel, I can play that for free. In fact, I might just... No, I can't play it for free. I need to have Discard out, that's fine. Let's just get these out. Uh, oh yes, I need to do the two, don't I? Ugh. Okay, we've got the special, that's good. He's deflecting, that two back into Akbar, which should kill him, yeah. Uh, I think at this stage it's, I haven't got the discard showing. Can't play the rebel. Should I have been getting this cunning in? It's probably something I should have been doing, I'm not sure. Oops. Yeah. Right under there. Oh, there's a lot going on here. Kill my resource, that's fine, I can take another one. Let's hit get three PO in. Uh, discard. It's not quite what I wanted. Just gonna claim, get one back. What's he got? Seven in there. Um I'll take one. And I think I'll just play Rebel. Uh, and then we'll discard him a card. Well. Sort of looking okay here, gang. I don't feel like loan operatives any good anymore. Might just cunning, really. So let's get four more cards, and we will get two resources. 
cause another reversal. Now this is where it's getting real crunch time. Right, you can take two. I haven't got any of the, oh, I can electroshock that full speed, which is quite nice. Or should I just electroshock? These other dice, they can actually do some damage. Because electroshock is for free, isn't it? Mm, I think I probably should pay that electroshock for free at this stage. Get rid of that. Yep, reroll. Oh, bugger. <laughs> that goes away. She goes back to eight again. Uh, yeah, it's quite good actually because her being on that much, if we just, she keeps going back to six, seven, eight all the time, and then you can. Hmm. Well, right, I've still got. Two. I mean, I can cheat another one of those out. Let's see what I can do here. He's still got a resource there as well. Discard many of his cards now. That is annoying. Right, lose my resources. Now I think what I'll do is you still got that one disrupt. Go for a C3PO reroll. I'll keep that one and I'll keep that two and just see if I can hit this or something. Come on, let's get that special. Oh, oh, it's a discard though, that's good. Because I can discard him down now. So the question now is. Could make that go to three. He's got five cards left in hand. I get three out. Uh, I should probably discard for a reroll, I think. Or do I need to concentrate on getting Ammo Belt back? Because I can cheat for Ammo Belt and play it. I've played Electroshock. I need one resource. Yeah, I need to be able to play Ammo Belt, don't I? I don't really want to shoot for two, that's a bit naff. I think I'll probably... discard for a reroll, because I need... I need this to go off. And that being... and I kind of need to use three PO's die. Okay. <sighs> Okay, not quite what I needed. What I could do is use three PO's die to turn that into a one focus, which would make that go off. But I need to get those out of his hand because he's just going to draw up. It's whether I can. Oh, it's just too too discard. Oh, it doesn't feel good. And then I'll take the one to get a resource, and I think I'll play cheat. Or the ammo belt. Grab the ammo belt, which is here. Could be about to draw it, but never mind. Okay. God, so here we go. <laughs> I did draw it as well. 
it was worth the risk. I've got another rebel too, so. If he rolls massive now, it will be tough to win this. Oh, he has hit the discard. That's a bit of a pain. So he's going to go for the damage. So that'll be the ammo belt gone. Plus back to the 8 again. It's tight to this. He hasn't got any other way of doing any damage at the moment. So if I just play out the other ammo belt, or play the free electroshock. Yeah, I haven't got any threes that are going to roll. Let's play the free electroshock. Um, yeah, it has to be on that, doesn't it, really? Well, this is quite tough, guys. I'm finding this quite taxing. I'm feeling like I've probably made a few mistakes on the way here, but we're looking okay. Uh, I feel like I need to... No, oh, I don't know. Was that a big mistake? Another one of those out, so that's fine. He's going to pass. Oh, I'm not going to throw it. Roll a three, so I'm going to have to go for this. Throw the two, I presume. We might throw that. Uh, okay, actually, and then claim. Okay. All right, I've got work to do. Boy net, what's he down to? He's got one card, he's got five in hand though. Uh, I'll discard Scout. Um, Draw the one. Okay. Now I've got an interesting choice because I think I mean she's not gonna die. But is it better to get it's better to get, just get rid of these cards from his hand, isn't it really? Yeah, let's get rid of one, two, three cards from hand. Sure. Uh I think, yeah, three PO doesn't get a lot of use this round, but we get two resources and we'll draw our last three cards. Okay. So I've got to discard three cards. Oh, not rolled amazingly, but. I basically don't have any removal, and he has rolled a force throw. I think I just need to roll Jin out, though. Wow, this is this is tight. Okay, I've rolled twos. Unfortunately, it's not twos. Discards. <laughs> Why would playing Rise again be any help unless he wants to mind? Yeah, he wants to. Okay, that's probably what he was doing there then. So we'll go to that and we go back to the eight. So he can do three, he can get me back to the eight. Hmm. Oh yes, because because he didn't actually do that to me yet. He didn't do 
three damage to take him from eight to three, just resolve that one resource. Uh, well, this is intriguing. See, I think this is where I'd probably just rebel now. For free. got the resources to deal with it but okay aha excellent so yeah he couldn't actually so I can just hit that for the two resource two discard for the win wow ammo belt and second chance proving it's broken well I don't know actually I mean I'm <laughs> saying I don't know actually it's proving to keep me in the game against a tooled up Palpatine and proving that I had a bit of managing um, needed to use the recursion um, for sure but I mean you can just see how powerful this deck is in terms of keeping Jin alive there's so much recursion going on um, and I, mean, I didn't probably focus enough on getting um, the uh, con artist in and go in early. Now let me just say cheers to this chap and I'll do a quick debrief. Just for the game. Uh, it might be a decent deck until the next one. Right then, yeah, so. Um, that's a pretty decent outing um, did I feel like I got good value out of Spynet I think I hit it four times that's not terrible um, also I just realised it's a bit yellow The old uh, it's quite dark in here why isn't that adjusted that should have adjusted so I'm not looking like I've got jaundice but anyway um, yeah uh, Spynet was okay it hit three or four cards I can't remember what now um, and of course I didn't get the other one out and of course that's when it gets really silly if you've got two of those out um, that's almost like claiming the command centre in a turn uh, which is really good um, what else felt really strong there well clearly the rebel and the cheat being able to just keep bringing ammo belt back I mean I didn't even need to use that as a second chance in the end I mean I discarded it knowing I could be fairly safe for getting it back. The interesting thing about playing against Palp is I know I'm not going to get the recursion through the battlefield, so that was an interesting thing to, that I'll need to bear in mind when I play against Palpatine. Um, uh, he was a decent player. He didn't make many mistakes. He pushed that deck right to the end there. Um, um, I felt like I... I still feel like I'm getting my head around 3PO and all the possible things I can use him for. Um, I did turn... One thing I really like 3PO in this deck is for turning Jin's two damage sides into two discard sides. He's just so good for doing that. Um, but the fact that he can also turn them into... Uh, if, if the discard's not needed, that he can turn her two damage sides into resources that's blinking brilliant as well um, so 3PO is undeniably awesome in this deck uh, what are the cards? Rebel was brilliant um, it's a bit difficult needing to have that discard showing but but I think that's the that's the instance in the time when I used it that I, I think it, it will shine and work really well is you're rolling out they maybe went first they do some damage they trigger off the ammo belt dies 
or maybe even the second chance dies, uh, and then you play Rebel. Uh, now, of course, rebelling ammo belt is much better because it's free. You get your ammo belt back for free, a card, um, because of Jin's ability. Um, the reversal, the reversal didn't feel huge. Uh, I think, I think what makes reversal very good is when you are doing damage as well, and paying two resources to bounce back a damage die. Really, I don't know. I'm starting to feel like if people wanted to go fast against me, I, maybe I'd be better off just having to flank there. And that's only going to cost me one resource rather than reversals two. Um, that feels like it could be better. Negotiate against him was brilliant, but of course then he he had the after that for the second time when I played it. I mean, it's still removing that one die, which I think is worth it against um, uh, against Palp because okay, I lose my Akbar die, but he's lost. Definitely two damage plus some other nice side, whatever it is, and uh, uh, and you just played a card which didn't cost you anything because of Jin's ability. So negotiate's brilliant. It feels really strong in that deck, um, and I think with being there, being more sort of Vader Raider, um, you know, Poe Maz, Luke, you know, I think a well timed negotiate is is going to really do the business against Poe Maz. It's more difficult. They'll probably have the battlefield. Poe roll first, then I'll roll at Akbar, then they'll roll, and I won't really get to use Negotiate, possibly. Um, but I think it still works really well, I think it's good. Didn't get to use Lone Operative at all. Um, and what I'm interested to see is because it's expensive, it is expensive. And maybe I could have. But the thing is, I don't really want to upgrade a con artist. and. Cunning never felt like it wanted to go out. And this is the thing, maybe maybe it's too many resources and trying to get on uh, too many upgrades and trying to get on Jin because she's only got three slots. This is one of the problems I'm foreseeing with the deck is that she's only got three slots. Well, if second chance is one of them, you've only got two then. One of them you want to be con artist. Um, and hopefully you see it early in the game. After that <laughs> You gotta want the ammo belt, so I don't know if there really is space for cunning. Uh, I mean, the other possibility is using the cargo hold and being able to play things out to Jin and move them across to Akbar, move the cunning across, uh, move the con artist across. But I want con artist on Jin because I want to keep her alive, so it doesn't really work. Um, so yeah, there was some. Yeah, I'm I'm not super sold on whether Lone Operative is necessary in the deck. I'm playing a, in a tournament with this tonight, and I think I'll keep the Lone Operative in for now. Have you guys been chatting away to me? You totally have. You still heal the five. Sorry, guys, I'm totally looking there. Yes, I only pay. I only, I only paid one, didn't I? I only paid for one. Um, Remember the second time you play in a round, Jin's ability is free. It is not free. So that cheat shouldn't have been free because it was. I had also played reversal, I think, at the start of that round. Um, so yeah. And you heal five even with the ammo belt. Pretty sure I was doing that because I was taking the ammo belt off. She was on eight, he was hitting me for threes. And so all I was doing was just taking those twos off. Because, of course, she's healing five from eleven each time. Unless I'd made some mistakes there. Um, what else have we got here? Yeah. Yeah. So there's always going to be a couple of things that I'm get You did. Palp then hit for two. Exactly, that's it. That's why he keeps going. That's why she goes back up to eight. Um, from the six. So, yeah. Um, so I think I've got I think I've got that right. Uh, I might have had the odd misplay here and there, but uh, this is this is so different. I'm normally used to playing villains, 
villains that either do lots of damage or crime lord people. So this is still really cool new stuff to be uh, trying here. Um, Jin's powerful. There's no doubt about it. I mean, her ability is really good to be able to play cheat for free, be able to play rebel for free. It's re rebel gives you that free ammo belt. It's ridiculously good. Um, electroshocks for free, marvelous. Negotiate for free. I mean, I, I built those events to to just be free with her ability. Um, I didn't feel like I had as many resources as I wanted. So. Uh, I mean, I, I really would like to get in uh, double dealing, but actually I didn't, also didn't roll many specials because I didn't get lone operative in. The scouts went off a couple of times. Jin is annoying to play against. Oh, I would not want to be playing against that deck. I'm sorry, I'm playing with it. I would not want to be playing against it. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, I'm sure it's a tough deck to play against. I'm a, and, I, and I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit worried about it in terms of the effect it could have on the meta. Um, have a deck list. I literally don't, Michael. I mean, I'm, I pretty much <laughs> I made it with cards, and I was like, Do you know what? I want to test this out before I go to my tournament tonight. Uh, and I just thought I'd stream it as I was doing it because it's the first time with that kind of list. Um, so, uh, as I was saying, uh, I'm a yeah. It might turn out to be. A very NPE negative play experience. Uh, I haven't actually played against it yet. Ah, oh, poison! Somebody played that against you as a new player. That's really rough. Well, I apologise on behalf of the awful person <laughs> that played that uh, against you. Let me just go full screen on here, guys. That would be much easier for your eyes, wouldn't it? Here we go. Um, yeah, I really apologise that he played that against you. That's just awful. Guys, please, please, please. See you tonight. Crazy skin dog. Who's that? Anyway, um, please, please, please. Yeah, don't. If you guys don't play this deck against new players, don't play Jin with second chance ammo belt or Chewy with second chance ammo belt against new players. That's how you put people off our wonderful game. <laughs> Keep that for you know seriously competitive play, um, and just just get your ammo deck, your uh, aggro decks out for playing new players. That's much better. It's <laughs> alright, bud. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Uh, so Sam's one of the local players, uh, a few guys watching. Um, yeah, so it's quite a different build of Jin, I think. I don't know, maybe other people have been using Cunning and Con Artist. I really didn't feel like I got chance to abuse that. I think if you see the Cunning and the Con Artist early, uh, then, then you can maximise all of those counters going onto the Con Artist. If you see it, you know, if you, if you, I didn't get Con Artist until, what, round three? So if, if I think if you get it um, early on, pff, amazing, you're going to get that out. As soon as you see a cunning, I'm probably going to play that, unless they've managed to put loads of damage onto Jin. But again, lots of people will often just try and go for Akbar first. Uh, and that, to me, that kind of feels like it just makes Jin have, what, 20 health. <laughs> because I don't care about Akbar. Now, of course, if they don't, start trying to attack Akbar, um, or, I, or I do really well with resources, then I can put Lone Operative uh, onto him and, and heal him up. If they don't attack Akbar and they're going for Jin first, well then I might put a Lone Operative on her, um, unless it starts getting a little bit close. Um, but the good thing about Lone, lone Operative is that if it starts getting to, you know, she's on 6, 7 damage, and I'm starting to think, oh, I'll just overwrite Lone Operative with the second chance. Uh, that's why it's really nice that it's a, it's a good solid three, so the ramp becomes quite easy uh, within the deck. In the deck, uh, I haven't got Comlink in it. I had actually taken that out, uh, and it'd be really interesting. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think Spinet is going to be is going to be worth it? I mean, I still rolled a few focus. I think it's probably better when you've got character dice rolling more focus. So if I had two Akbar dice, then I think Spinet becomes really good. But considering there's you know focus on still a large number of my dice in the deck, 
Um, so there's Ascension Gun, there's Falcon, there's uh, 3PO, there's Cunning, there's you know there's there's quite a few dice in there that I've got focus sides on. Um, so I think Spinet, I think it's fine to go in there. The only thing I probably would change it with at the moment. Although it's going away from the direct strategy of the deck, is I could change it to um, a double dealing to make some more money, because if I've got more money, I can be getting those upgrades out. But also, once you get to sort of two or three upgrades out in this deck, most of the time you just kind of look to overwrite stuff. Really, keep back bar alive if you can, so you've got extra upgrade slots. Um, and then after that, it's you're just sort of overwriting a lot. So I don't know if I do need loads of resources. Reversal does feel very expensive. I think I might change reversal for a flank potentially. But other than that, yeah, it feels like it feels good. It feels really quite strong. Um, don't think I've got time for another quick game of that now. Uh, with a quick game he says yeah maybe I have let's see uh, if it starts going on for ages then uh, then that'll be a problem let me just change back to our uh, here we go there we are. so let's see if we can get into another game fairly quickly let's go server browser to do it Is there anyone looking for a game? Destiny. Nobody. Oh, yes. It's Pearl Yeti, who is a good player, a very good player, but he looked. Let me just. Oh, I'll just start one up, guys. I'll start one up and I'll give it a couple of minutes. Um, and then we'll. Uh, and then I'll call it. It's going to be my little boy's waking up time shortly. So let's just see if we can get a, a game in here fairly quickly. One of the challenges I think with this deck list is going to be playing fast enough. Um, we'll see what happens there. Uh, I think I need to get into the mindset of all I'm looking for is discard, 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 and then Con Artist and Spy Net to get things off, you know, to get mill in their deck as well. I think it could I think this really could be strong. I mean it's just built it's just beat an E palp on its first run out with me not really knowing exactly what I'm doing with it. Uh, and he was fully loaded up as well so although he could have done with more damage upgrades, his two force throws they weren't really doing him but they weren't going to be as good as him getting out some you know, big force lightnings or something like that is probably what I'd have gone for. Here we go, we've got someone trying to, someone trying to do it, so that's good. We've got Jimmy G-Star. He looks like a local player because he's got fairly low ping. Uh, let's promote him and then check his... Okay, if I stream us... Let's see what he says. Cool. Let's do it. Right then. So. Uh, uh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Born it. Okay. So, sketch in. And Ackers. We've got our Starship Graveyard. And we've got to add this out. So, we've got some of the people logging in. Maybe to have a watch. Let's see what we get. What have we started with? Well, I don't really want a reversal. I don't really want a cunning. Ascension gun early. <coughs> mm. I'm starting to think twice about Ascension gun. I'm not really all that excited when I see it. Jabba Krennic. Oh, pants. Could have Imperial Inspection going off here. Uh, I need a discard, don't I? He's got Imperial Inspection. He probably won't have many big special. Do you know what? I'm going to do that. 
We'll see. Spiner and the con artist, good. Okay, that's a decent start. So we'll do that. Yeah, so. Uh, five, that was a good roll. Uh, let's, um, what? <laughs> I think he just miscounted there. Yeah, we'll take that. Not quite sure what he did there. He got the same result on his reroll. Any hoop? Uh, what should we get out first? <laughs> um, I guess just get the con artist out, isn't it? I, I don't really don't want to lose that early on, so let's just get that out. I can play my free electroshock anyhow. Damn it! He's got it straight off. Ugh. That is very annoying. Oh well. Use it or lose it. <laughs> Great, and he's going to have to bounce my con artist and I won't be able to. Well, that is a blow. I don't really want to do any damage, but he's going to be able to out con artist me. Mm. That's annoying. Oh, do you know what? I don't think we're going to get this game finished before my boy wakes up. <laughs> but let's see. Uh, I think I'll take that one. Does he roll it? Of course he does. Oh no, the other car artist is gone. Brilliant. Yeah. Ah, yeah, that's going to be just a painful thing all the time. I'm not going to do damage. Oh, this is fascinating actually. I'm not sure what I'm going to do this game now. Actually, let's get that out. But yeah, that's really going to hit it. I'm just going to have to roll the discard sides, aren't I? I guess is what it boils down to. But he's got the fast hands jabber now and the Imperial inspection in place. It's pretty nice. Okay, settled in for. Some issues. Uh, so we took the resource, didn't Did you take a resource? Uh, yeah, you did. Hmm, I'm not going to do four damage, that's just pointless. Is it? Uh. <laughs> Should I switch to a damage sort of path. I don't think I should because it's going to be so much damage to chew through. Um, I think I might just, yeah, I think I'll just discard and re-roll. Hopefully hit some, let's do disrupt bud. Okay. Uh, Sure. Well, there's the two discards, that's good. Yep. OK. 
Okay, fair enough. So he's going to ready up and get discarding the rest of my cards. So, we'll both be discarded at the start, but he's a card ahead because his con artist stayed on the board. Oh, he's hit another one. Um, the first, the leadership with the red is a It is neutral. Yeah, I was just double checking. Uh, I was thinking it was a hero for a second then. The but the leadership. <coughs> uh, let's. The leadership with the red. Let's just do two. Actually, let's do two to Jabba. Um, the leadership. It is something I was looking at with Akbar, um, putting in the deck, and it'd be quite nice to play against it to see just how good it is, because that's kind of really what I'm using Akbar for. I mean, he's he's just there as a as a bod really to give me access to three PO and uh, ah cool three PO. Um, now I've drawn cunning. That's solid, because you're only going to have to bounce one at the moment back. Okay, an infamous. So what I might do is... Oh, I need to get 3PO out. He's so good. <laughs> Double fast hands. Oh, I love it. Okay. Don't bother getting scout out. I don't think I do. Throw that 3PO. It's something to just use up. Fat jabber and small fast hands. Is he going to do any damage? Two, fine, whatevs. Uh, let's see him roll out, Jabba. And he could literally discard the whole hand here if he rolls well, which would be horrible, but there you go. If he hits that disrupt, oh, he still hits it. <laughs> oh, uh, actually, it's not an issue now. Oh, we probably just won't use it, will he? So he would have to re roll into it again, wouldn't he? Okay. What do I do here then? I mean, he's just going to do a big re-roll, isn't he? Oh, I need to get loan operative out. Let's see if I can do this. I mean, this is risky, but I need to accelerate into... Okay. I need to be able to accelerate into loan operative. joking he hits it again <laughs> it has got two on it con artist so to be fair it's um it's very much likely to to go off this is going to be a real challenge I'm just going to, need to take resources aren't I I'm just going to, have to take resources no he's got two disrupt out can't do that Ooh, this is not cool. <laughs> Let's just 
let's go let's get let's get a reroll oh this is risky but oops he didn't take two damage off Akbar's ability last round I need to remember that so he's taking a resource right we'll discard two Focusing that to the special. Yep, I can't deal with it. Let's make this two resources. He's probably just one because of all of this. Ugh. Very, very hard to deal with. Oops. Right, I've got two resources. Uh, do I claim so I can get out first? Play it down and over right. Yeah, because I can get two out, can't I? Let's do that. The cunning is going to be much more exciting now. He's going to have a blackmail available. Okay. Uh, I might keep those. Oh, this is going to be such a battle, but I need to get the loan operative in. I need to ignore con artist. I'm just not going to get that to happen. Oh man, this is going to be really tough. Right, so he's playing that, which is fine because I think I might just get Lone Operative out. I don't really, I mean, I'll actually cope with the damage sides now. Oh man, this is going to be really hard going, guys. He might not roll it. I have to start thinking about it. He just might not roll it. <laughs> Confiscation. Great, love it. So good. This is a really interesting. Yeah, Imperial Inspection really hurts this deck so hard. I'm gonna have to find a way to get rid of Con Artist, aren't we? Mm -hmm. That's the big problem I've got here. Because he still hasn't done his this yet. Yep, sure. A random card, I know. Oh my. Right. Fastan's Jabba. And typically enough, he didn't roll a disrupt. Uh. Yeah, 
this is just getting silly now. Con Artist is going to absolutely nail me this game. It's going to be GG. I'm going to stop it now because there's no point. two copies of salvage ah it's tis annoying though yeah I really wanna I haven't got slots to give over to something like salvage but I am gonna have to because that's just too painful that was really important to have that uh, experience with this deck just to see because I've only played against Imperial Inspection a couple of times, and it's been one of those ones where they haven't really hit their disrupts very much, uh, you know. And I've been playing, you know, Sith, and it's all force throws and Kylo's Ren's lightsaber, and I, and I don't mind that. Um, so yeah, I think what I need to do is I'm almost considering taking Lone Operative out. It sounds a bit crazy, but. Lone Operative is only going to keep Akbar alive, really. Because I'm just not going to play it on Jin with second chances and amber belts. Uh, uh, oh, apparently this is Jimmy Nisa. Apparently it's someone in it. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Oh, James. Uh, maybe next time. Yes, our first court, uh, Q2 in Bristol tonight. Um, okay, yeah, so we need salvage in. I think that's uh, that's what's got to go in there. Does Lone Operative come out? Does Lone Operative come out for double dealing? Right, I'm going to end the stream here because I've got th I've got some thinking to do. I need to go and get my little boy up. Let me just write these down. Just so you know, other car. Let's have a look at what you guys have been chatting at. Sorry, until I get a chat up on the screen. Upgrades uh, are needed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. That's it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I wasn't going to get through that one. This is my sister Java deck here. Uh, right, um, just to know, other things I was also thinking about is long con, just because there's recursion. Um, I think that could be, uh, we'll just have a quick little, let's just shift us across. We can come out of this. Menu, main menu, yes, yeah, so people don't keep coming in expecting to get a game. There we are, so. Other ways of thinking, we could also have long con in this. Um, I think that would be uh, quite entertaining. Um, whether it's really worth it or not, it's just that painful get rid of it that first time. But if you see it that second time, I mean, a hit to three resources is great. And then it's the fact that we've got cheats and we've got rebels to get a lot more. I think that's where it. it it could be really good. Um, is it going to be better than double dealing? Well, I think if I'm taking loan operative out to put in double dealing, I actually don't have so many other specials that I'm looking to hit. Yes, there's cunning and con artist, but that's quite hard to put those two together. Um, well, it isn't. It just means it's second chance, and I have to lose a cunning for the armor belt. And there's there's just a bit of there's a bit of bargy bargy going on with those um, upgrades but I think loan operative does probably need to come out um, and if it came out for 
something like long con or maybe double dealing one of those two and the other thing is as well is I was thinking the supports if I get more supports in well that can be really strong too so I was thinking of using outpost which is isn't the greatest but it's in the special so it would go quite well with double dealing um, it's got focus on it so it sets off spy net I know it all starts becoming a lot of supports but again I still feel like in this meta supports are getting just better and better and when you've got somebody like Jin who you can keep alive and pretty much sacrifice Vader uh, sacrifice Vader and you can pretty much sacrifice um, Akbar to the wolves um, having loads of supports is really good <laughs> because you've still got um, dice and I think those outpost dice could be very 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 useful um, especially with C3PO uh, it's got a two disrupt side on it which you could turn into two resources or all sorts of lovely juiciness and it is a cool ability um, and with Starship Graveyard it's it's going to be yeah I'll have my uh, I'll have my ammo belt back uh, or whatever so yeah although without post I mean I might even consider something like running like command center then um, and the ascension gun I don't like the ascension gun in some ways I like the ascension gun if I've got 3 PO out because the, the two damage sides still become something useful I'm not interested in doing damage to the deck of course um, and then if I hit the one, uh, the the discard on it, there's a discard side on it, that's fine, that's great. If I hit the focus, spy net goes off. And if I hit the special, well, that's cool, we like specials in the deck. And, and it's a good, and it, you know, if I'm going with command center as the, as the, as the backup, maybe, may, you know, it's probably better than starship um, graveyard. I haven't really been using that. Yeah, sabotage. I think just has to go in the list. Don't know about two, but certainly I definitely need one. Maybe I do need two because Imperial Inspection is going to be hard work to battle against. Yeah, right. I'm going to end the stream there. Cheers, guys, for um, for a little watch. A couple of interesting games there. One really cool tight battle right to the end where Jin showed her true power against decks that trying to chuck damage and then a really good example of Jabba and the choke meta that he's uh, sort of doing now with um, Imperial Inspection or if they got Unkar as well is really good um, and uh, and that whole discard con artist on him mm, so good that was really cool I quite like that deck I might have a good go at uh, building something like that myself because I love Jabba. If you watch the stream, you'll know. Um, and then that second game was just a, a bit of a, a lesson, really, in, in in my deck building to make sure that I remember to do things like, what's the meta? Okay, in peer inspection is a big dangerous card. Salvage goes in, you salvage, and get rid of it. So that's going in. Uh, right. Well, thanks, guys. Nice to have you along. Thanks for chatting away. Maybe one and cheat. Yeah, exactly. That's it. I've got cheat. I can I can get it if I need it. Uh, even rebel as well. Cool. Thanks, guys. Right. I'll see you. I'll see you again soon. Try for now.